Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Hearthstone. All we gotta do today is play 18 spells. So, when it comes to playing spells, there's nobody better to play as than uh, the mage. What is glowing here? Why is this glowing? I did hear there was some slight trouble with the arena today. They were going to take it off. They took it down just a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. Is that why it was calling? It's because I had one new card in there? They've updated the program, so I guess that's now when you have new ca cards in your collection, it will glow. Yeah, I don't think that's really a feature that's that necessary. Anyways, we're gonna be playing as the mage, but first things first, let me ask everybody to turn off any ad blockers and subscribe to my channel. Help me make a career. Like I said in my last episode, I start was starting early, and now it is pretty late. Uh, when I got back to recording my second episode, but it's still the same day, which is good news. In fact, let's depending Jane on versus when Uldan. the month ends, I may have exactly mine. the quest you done when it. the Black Rock Mountain comes out. I will keep an eye on that. Let's see. I don't want any of those cards for a first turn, uh, first go first play. I want to actually be able to do something in my first turn. Even if it's something like arcane missiles for only 30. So 17 more spells to needed to be played. I think in 5 Ooh, games we shouldn't have any problems doing that. That will give us 2 episodes this recording session. Which is still a situation of us falling backwards oh, and fall instead of moving forwards. But it doesn't really matter at the moment. I'm going to have so many episodes, I think, when Black Rock Mountain comes out. Uh, I'm thinking. I'll probably do like a Job um, done. potential midnight release on Black Rock Mountain of the first episode. Uh, of course, nobody will see this episode until after Black Rock Mountain potentially is already completely done. So it'll be just kind of a surprise. So many possibilities. Uh, on my channel, it does feel like if your video is is right in line with what's being talked about right then and there, it gets hundreds more views than uh, any of my other videos, really. Uh, Black Rock Mountain announcement that used several hashtags on Twitter the day it came out is almost to 300. Whereas every single other um, video I've released to this point just isn't, isn't there. It's just not. It's like two views, three views, four views for my other series. So you're talking a factor of a hundred there. I'm getting hundreds of times more views on the Blackrock announcement video that I used hashes. And the one that I did use hashes afterwards is growing still better than the ones that did aren't in the public's mindset, like uh, FTL in the Binding of Isaac, which I kind of uh, wonder why nothing Finding a bicycle was in people's mindset. But, okay, whatever. Uh, 
so... Job's done. I don't know what I should probably be doing. And Give me a quest. Here's the reason why I haven't mm. been doing it so far. Yeah. So I should probably be not focusing at all on all the games. I don't have enough mana. Just completely take them out of the loop and instead focus on brand new games the day they're released. Job's done. Which means basically play pay sixty dollars for a brand new game. Almost be guaranteed no no nothing. No. Now I did this on the Tower Principle. I really did. Yeah. Still not really in the mindset. Still really haven't gotten seen. If anything, I've seen less views on the Tower Principle than anything else. I think that is probably coming from releasing everything. It quite possibly might just be a situation where I shouldn't have shouldn't have released all of the Talos Principle at the end. I shouldn't have released all of Portal. I shouldn't have released all of Portal 2. I should have probably scheduled all of those out. And maybe that's the direction I'm going to take my channel from now on, is that if I do an extra series, it's just going to be um, scheduled in such a way that it will be on the same list. Also, I'm thinking maybe I should play some more, play around some more with the master of magics. Uh, time things are released. Uh, yeah, it looks like I'm gonna do this one. Well, whatever. Job done. So maybe I will have twelve, like series getting released every day and just. Have one on the hour every hour. Potential. Uh, that's a possibility. I don't like that idea, particularly. So I need 16 more spells. It seems severely overwhelming. It's just like putting out too much video. In a lot of ways, my old series is putting out too much video. Uh, and the only reason why I feel like I can do more series is Jaina because my Jaina. more recent ones are, haven't been you asked for it. like the my Mind Rises or FDL, you apart. where each game is an hour. So. so. Yeah, I don't know. I see a lot of very high famous YouTubers that seem to be releasing videos at midnight. But then I some of them feel ready. like seem to be releasing at noon, some seem to be releasing at uh I don't see a lot that release much past 6 p.m. until it's getting in the uh, hurry up. It's just a random online. Time. So I don't know if there is a great time. I don't know if the times that other people are releasing is what I should be judging my, my times done. on. If not, maybe it should be the exact opposite. Everything's uh, a little bit up in the air with YouTube. YouTube's moving to cards, and mm. maybe if they get some better features and some copy and paste features in cards, then 
that would help me a lot. I'm s still having trouble getting the reboot of the series done. Uh, this is really... I don't want to be cruel, but it's it's 100% the artist's fault. They just don't have time for me. They're, they're working basically for free. I'll give them that. But... I needed a... Uh, finished... Or I would have liked to have a finished package. Of every single game that I plan on recording and have recorded and I would have liked to have had done. that done a couple of weeks ago and so far all I've gotten is uh, here's one game and then a week later here's another game and I'm like, well, you know when you reboot when you go from one season of a, your YouTube channel to another you don't change all the graphics for one game and then change all the graphics for the other. I guess that's my fault for trusting them. Uh, I guess I should have just sat on everything he did and not uploaded anything until I was ready to make the full change. So that, that fault on me. As I also need just just to throw it out there, I need somebody that's that could be a social manager and really make some progress and accomplish some stuff with my uh, social connection. Job done. That would be really nice. Uh, I don't know if doing Google uh, well, I don't know if doing Twitter is really getting me a lot of views, though. At least what I'm doing now doesn't mm. seem to be getting me a lot of views. I don't think for a second any views are coming from Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus does have this strange thing where it seems like f I'm getting five to 600 views on my page every day, but none of that seems to be translating into people going to my YouTube channel or qu clicking the videos even on my Google Plus thing. It's just, I think the numbers don't mean what you would think they mean. Hmm. Goblin Blast Mage. And Twitter's not much better. Uh, I have gotten a lot more followers on Twitter, but it's not like those Twitter followers are turning into loyal viewers. Or anything like that. Very much that they are just, people are following me. A lot of times people follow me and then they try and, um, and then you, I'll look at their pages, and their pages are not anything but just advertisements for their things, which is fine. I, my page is nothing but an advertisement for my So that's 100% fair. But then I had one that they commented something to me and didn't even bother to follow me. So they're, they're like... They Just sent me a comment you. saying, come look at our thing, when they're not even bothering to do a trade, as it were. And, uh, and follow done. or watch the things I'm doing. So, yeah, no. Uh, and it's kind of silly, the whole thing. If you're a YouTube creator, and from my perspective as a YouTube creator, the last thing I expect is some other YouTube creator is going to actually watch my videos. Uh, it'd be nice, but I see all the time and I, I live how much work it takes to record and take care of all the background stuff in YouTube. So I know pretty well that if a good YouTube creator is not going to have time to watch many of our many YouTube videos and they're not gonna probably watch 
other gamers and like they're just trying to learn from them. And I've looked at a few other people for a very short amount of time, but I have in no way really have subscribed and uh, followed it. Now that is a little inaccurate because I have sticked with some of the people I was watching before I became a YouTube creator, but even that is teetering off. I'm running out of time. And I'm becoming more and more about I'm not watching video game YouTubers, I'm watching other YouTubers. Uh, because that's usually my break time. That's my usually the time in Minecraft where I'll be working on my Minecraft server and listening to some YouTube video uh, that has nothing to do with Anyways, in other news, they announced an Assassin's Creed Chronicle, which I want to mention Something just for a second, for Infinity, pretty much, because they've really just, they're trying to make the concept of Assassin's Creed be this just huge, like, we want to make three, four games a year that are called Assassin's Creed. So what Assassin's Creed Chronicles is, is a 2D platform, two-dimensional, not three-dimensional like all the other Assassin's Creed games, and uh, the first one, Assassin's Creed Chronicles China, you're playing as, ninja would be the wrong term, but let's see, I don't know what the Chinese term would be, so she's like a ninja, but ninja is a Japanese term, so, Jena versus I don't know. Geras. And Victory what I want you to do when you have a second after this video is go look up Mark of the Ninja uh, gameplay or, and compare it to uh, the any release footage you can find of Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Because you're going to very quickly find out it is the exact same game. No, I won't say it's the exact same game. It's not like they took the game, copied the, the exact same thing, and they're just calling it by a different name. No, they just stole the idea wholehandedly. Maybe they got permission. I don't know. Uh, maybe they got complete permission and or hired the, pr the creator of Mark of the Ninja and their team to make Assassin's Creed Chronicles. But it's the same game. Every single thing I saw is, is the same game. Uh, so I'm not terrible. That's not terrible. I liked it. The I liked uh, Mark of the Ninja. So more Mark of the Ninja would be cool. But wrapping it into the Assassin's Creed universe is silly. Uh, doing any more with the Assassin's Creed universe is silly. What they need to do, and they've sort of already done this in a lot of ways, because they've just in general given up on uh, where the storyline is going with uh, with all its craziness into the world stuff. All that's been thrown out the window, I think, at this point. Chaga, chaga. Mm, this is a nice scenario I've got going here. So, and I was kind of excited when I, I heard they were going to do a release a game called a trilogy called Assassin's Creed Chronicles because I thought for a brief sec that they were going to come out with Assassin's Creed 1, uh, 2, and 3 and probably throw in whatever extra 2 point whatever um, games were in between 2 because I know 2, two itself became a trilogy in itself uh, in all the silliness. Job done. Uh, uh, like, I liked... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I 
thought they were going to try and maybe polish the story a little bit and all that. But yeah, give it the whole end of the world and ancient aliens uh, Me? stuff. All of that Job's done. was silly. All of that could be written as just the the memories of a limited. They did so much the in this when you, you think back to Assassin's Creed. You are in a you are trapped in a room, then you then you get into a machine that somehow reads your DNA and by reading your DNA it uh, it you can relive the lives of your ancestors. Ancient ancestors. Which is just all ridiculous. Uh, genetic memory aside, nobody is going to be able to have in their DNA live, past lives after past lives after past lives and have a full accounting. That's ridiculous. And, and then on top of that, they introduce at the end. Oh, by the way, there's also aliens. They've thrown uh, all. They threw everything at the wall at the end of the game. When they really didn't need to. All they needed to do was tell the story of Altier. And that was it. And then, next game, tell the story the of Etsy. And that's all they had to do. The, the whole connecting part of it, the whole uh, glitches and all that stuff, it's its just all not necessary. It's just so, so wild that they went on, on that. That's too many cooks right there. Job too done. many cooks. But, so, uh, so what are they doing now? Uh, the exact same thing. They're putting even more things into the Assassin's Creed universe. Uh, I wouldn't mind if every single game was about a different character and told a good story, and they just happened to be Assassin's Creed. It's fine, but now they're changing the game completely, the gameplay completely, to be Mark of the Ninja. This it should not be called Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. It should be called Mark of the Ninja 2. Because that's Are what that game is. This? And there's no way you can deny it isn't. When you look at the two gameplays, it is exactly the same. And it has no resemblance. Uh, Assassin's Creed Chronicles China has no resemblance to a previous Assassin's Creed game. So there's no reason for it to be called that name. Ooh, is that a new effect? That was weird. But I haven't played an Assassin's Creed personally in a while. I'd say a good while. Might be. Are you ready for this? E accurate. Um, I played. I played, I think, to the end of the end of the world thing, and all of those storylines and all those endings were so bad. Something needs tinkering. Done so wrongly, and then at the end of the end of the world series, and I believe Assassin's Creed three or four. I don't even remember which one it was. You're given this completely ridiculous choice out of left field where it's like will you do one thing and become a a myth of like a um, don't blink a mythical creature or will you do the other thing and in the world or something and uh, it wasn't even like an equivalent uh, Comparison, and there was no choice really. I don't even know if the game gave you a choice. Uh, well, 
I think it did give you a choice and there was just no reason to have a choice there. The the truth of it would have been it would have been much better to just just had the game force you into a decision. Have the character the character of the story. Take all that. Alright, so I think I've got this. As long as he doesn't bring about Thaddeus and kill uh two of my guys. I think I've got Defensive systems online. So he's gonna try and kill himself. So this will work. That takes us down to five. And with this, I can play one more spell and win. Always nice to have a victory, even though, even if you don't really need one. Always nice to have a victory. Now, at probably about six, good, we only need three more. This next game will most likely be our last. At about 6.17 right now, I imagine there's a lot of kids home from school. Uh, but are kids good Hearthstone players in a very generalized assumption? Are they good or are they bad? Maybe they're bad players. I'm not really having a lot of trouble right now. I'm seeing... I'm seeing yeah. anecdotal evidence Undoing. here that kids might be bad hosting players and thus you asked for it. the type of people I want to play against. Hmm. So there's two out of the three spells I needed on the first draw. Uh, Job done. I do want to work on my Minecraft server some more, but I gotta find something to, to listen to if I'm going to do that. I still need to be working on playing Geek. Mm. Playing Geek is taking a long time. It's it's series like Play Geek, series like Binding of Isaac, series like FTL that really make me wonder what my channel would be like if it was edited. If people just uh, what to do? What to do? Maybe if I just made a playlist of victories, and just go and say, "I right, this is all the victory no, that I've ever no, had in done. this game." That might be an interesting, interesting thought. Just, do you just want to see me win? Okay, why not? Let's make a playlist of me just winning. I must I probably consider. do that. It would, it would be a matter of watching everything in my list and making a new playlist. Let's see. And just adding something to yet another playlist. But I why not? Wonder. I think I might do that. Just for the fun of it, have an edited playlist of this. Here's me winning. It'll probably be a delayed playlist, I will admit that. In the sense that I probably won't. No, I'll probably update it as early as anything else. Putting things in playlist after the fact is more work. When you schedule something to upload it, you want to have it in every playlist you can. And speaking of having everything in playlists, I mm. did recently look at my Talos Principle playlist and realized it was actually missing episodes even, so that, that stinks. I need people to comment on every single mistake they see. Uh, if you see a, com a mistake on a video, comment there. And that mistake can be anything. It could be I, I put the wrong name. I've got the wrong description. I've got the wrong game link. I've got the wrong thumbnail on it. Uh, 
I won. Misspelled something that doesn't look like it was jokingly misspelled. Or if you if you don't even know, sure, just tell me if it's misspelled or something. Um, but yeah, I I I want to put a bounty out there, and my the reward will be my grateful thanks. But yeah, if you find out playlists are out of order, if you find that it's playlists are missing videos, let me know because. There is just so much stuff going on. It. So much different things that have to be done uh, on YouTube. It's just not an efficient system. It's got very little error checking. Uh, very little helpfulness in any way. It's, a, it's, it's not an, a, a, as efficient a system as I would like. Uh, That one. Don't want to do another one to the face. Uh, Job's done. But yeah, I have lots and lots of mistakes. And I want to fix them. One of the things I think I, I should fix, but I probably won't. Uh, because it's been fixed going forward is that I think it was a mistake to have episode titles because it seems like they get downvoted when you have long titles it, YouTube is specifically telling me your title seems kind of long sure you don't want to shorten it uh, keywords and uh, putting keywords in the title is technically a violation of the YouTube policy I just found out so don't worry I'm not in trouble I didn't get a warning or anything I just consider. uh YouTube has a creators channel that I occasionally watch and they explain things from their perspective which is probably one of the most important perspectives for you to know because it's their service uh, So, so yeah, trying to, like, even Vaporization commencing. when I am actually making Job an done. episode, like I made an episode that said, in which I was talking about du Duck Dynasty. If I put in the episode title, talking about Duck Dynasty, while that's accurate, it doesn't seem like that really helps the gates are any. I think YouTube has got a system in place that doesn't allow for that to be a smart thing to do. Uh, it seems like very much like a short, concise title that is actually explaining what's going on. It's better. So going forward, I'm going to try and stay more within the lines there. Just the name of the, uh, the name of the game I'm playing. Uh, in the example of Minecraft, if I'm playing the code, I'll put the, mo the code. Then kind of in parentheses, although I use brackets for some silly reason. Um, uh, I'll put the code, then Minecraft, and the version number, because I'm sure some people will be interested in that. And Don't then blink. I will. Me? Uh, put episode number this and that. Uh, one thought on episode numbers is certainly why am I using episode numbers instead of date? Job's done. Uh, just cause it feels right, really. Uh, but episode numbers get really high. I uh, fully admit. If we, uh, if I 
I may go back and Are do like Hearthstone and do volume numbers. Uh, or season numbers on Hearthstone. Hearthstone does have in it built into its own system uh, seasons. So every time a new season Mommy. came about, I could put. Vaporization commencing. Like March season done. episode number or whatever. Uh, and then the season rolls over, it would be episode number whatever. And then there would just be ton there'd be at least twelve episode ones in each year. So that's one way to do it. The other day, way to do it would be to just put the direct uh, the, Job's done. Put the direct amount, the direct date as it instead. Uh, does that help anybody? I think that kind of hurts because if everything's getting recorded so far ahead. The the date I have to put is the date it's released, not the date it's recorded. So does that make anybody feel any better about the situation? Well, it looks like I've lost this. It doesn't look like I stood much of Job's a chance. Done. And uh, of pulling the victory out of this one. But it doesn't matter. We've got a quest done. So I'm definitely thinking about, particularly in Hearthstone's case, what happens when we get to the the speed uh, be restless i have never seen this card before uh, what to do when we start getting into the four or five hundred which we will now there is something that going on here we need to check this out are we Black Rock Mount set. Here we go. So we see a Black Rock Mountain. Soulbound cards. And I was wrong and someone commented and corrected me and thank you, whoever that was. I said thank you directly to his comment too. But there are going to be two and it looks like we are going to do all that. So I'm going to make another episode and release it out of water. Um, because we've got them all here. So yeah, that gives me something else to do. That's cool. We can look at these. Now, how, how are people playing these cards is the real question. Uh, I don't think they were playing those cards, they were just playing... Uh, um, some cards I hadn't seen before. So we got the Black Rock Mountain cards ready, uh, but we can't get them. Let's see. There's no way to get them. There's no Black Rock Mountain packs to buy. And then the pre-order, the five wings, uh, still is just. Still just money, can't use gold, so no option there. So I will have, looks like some of them are just playing new cards against me. Unless there's some kind of deal going on in the arena where we can play as new cards, which is a possibility. But do I want to waste my are arena play? 
I'll investigate that and see that for next the ep extra episode that we're going. But that's the end of this episode. So, as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you support me through fan funding, if you want to do that, click on my name right out. That'll take you to my main YouTube page. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Any amount you donate will be greatly appreciated. If I can start getting do donations, I can start doing newer games. I'd love to do newer games. I'd love to be, it's coming out today. I have it ready to go. Here's the series. Here's a episode I recorded just today, hot off the presses, instead of uh, old games. Yeah. So that'd be great. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter or Google Plus or friend me on Steam or Battle.net, which by the way, friend me on Steam, you can send me those games as gifts, then that then you guarantee it, pretty much guarantee it, uh, depending on the copyright it's situation. Um, uh, friend me on Battle.net. Still need friends on Battle.net. Uh, we're a growing channel, and it is growing. Uh, peaking, it's, it seems like it's getting more people every day, and more views every day. And uh, it is increasing in the rate of the number of views. So it looks like it's going up and up and up. So I think I'm doing the right thing, at least some, somewhat. Uh, anyways, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.